there, explorers! Parsa here, and today we're going on an adventure to learn about something huge! Can you guess what it is? That's right, mountains! Mountains are like giant wrinkles on the Earth's surface. Some are pointy and tall, reaching for the sky. Others are rounded and wide, like sleeping giants. Have you ever seen a mountain up close? Maybe you've even climbed one! Mountains are pretty amazing, right? But have you ever wondered how these colossal landforms are made? It's like a giant puzzle, but don't worry, we're going to solve it together. Get ready to dig deep into the earth because we are about to unearth the secrets of mountain formation. Before we talk about mountains, we need to understand what's inside the earth. Imagine the earth is like a giant cake. It has layers, just like a cake. The outermost layer is called the crust and it's like the thin icing on the cake. We live on the Earth's crust. Under the crust is the mantle. It's like the thickest, gooeyest part of the cake. The mantle is super hot, so hot that some of the rocks inside it melt and become gooey like caramel. Yikes! And finally, in the very center of the Earth, we have the core. The core is like the center of the cake, and it's made up of two parts, the outer core, which is liquid metal, and the inner core, which is solid metal. Wowzers! Now remember the Earth's crust, the icing on our cake? It's not one big solid piece, it's broken up into giant puzzle pieces called tectonic plates. Think of them like giant rafts floating on a sea of gooey mantle. These plates are always on the move, but don't worry, they move very, very slowly, much slower than a snail. Sometimes they bump into each other, sometimes they move apart, and sometimes they rub alongside each other. What happens when these giant plates collide? Well, that's where the real mountain-making action begins. Crash! Boom! Mountains are born! When two tectonic plates collide head-on, it's like a clash of titans. The force is incredible, and it causes the Earth's crust to buckle, fold, and uplift. Imagine pushing two towels together. The middle part will bunch up, right? That's kind of how mountains are formed. Sometimes the force of the collision is so strong that it creates cracks in the Earth's crust, allowing molten rock from the mantle, called magma, to rise up. When magma erupts onto the Earth's surface, we call it lava. As the lava cools and hardens, it builds up over time, forming volcanic mountains. So whether it's the slow, steady collision of tectonic plates or the fiery eruption of volcanoes, mountains are formed through powerful forces deep within the Earth. Okay, explorers, what did we learn so far? Today, we learned that mountains are like giant wrinkles on the Earth's surface formed by the movement of tectonic plates. We also learned that the Earth is made up of layers, just like a cake and that mountains can be formed when these plates collide or when volcanoes erupt. Can you remember the names of the Earth's layers? What about those giant puzzle pieces that make up the Earth's crust? That's right, tectonic plates. The next time you see a mountain, remember the incredible journey it took to get there. It's a story of powerful forces, immense pressure, and a whole lot of time. If you enjoyed this adventure, make sure to subscribe to Tiny Tales Magic for more amazing educational content.